five, four, three, two. Hello, I'm Ramonica Jones, and I want to give you an invitation to come and visit our church. Yes, that is every Sunday at the Tower of Strength Church, located at 7707 Waco Avenue in Baton Rouge, where I, Ramonica Jones, is Pastor Rowe. So you'll be able to get words like this every Sunday. Also, I want you to mark your calendar so that you can tune in right here every Sunday at 5 p.m. and invite a friend or a family to come and hear the good news. We are empowering people and inspiring people to get to their next level, and we are absolutely glad about it. Make sure that you follow us on social media. Yes, that's Ramonica Jones at Facebook, Instagram, as well as Twitter, Ramonica Live Blessed. Not only that, but if you have a family member or if you yourself have mental health needs, we know that people have went through a global pandemic. There's a lot of uncertainty. There is foundation that have been shaken. There is a lot going on. So if you need one-on-one -on -one counseling consultation, please give our office a call at 504-265-0996. That's 504-265-0996, where, of course, we will come to you. I also want to invite you to purchase some products at our website. That website is www.liveblessedglobalministries.com. Once again, that website is www.liveblessedglobalministries.com where you can purchase faith activation t-shirts. You can also purchase book products, poems from a broken soul made whole, as well as what your daddy never told you and your mother never knew, which is life lessons to launch you forward. Today's discussion is the culture. Oh my goodness. It's so often that the world tackle issues as it relates to the culture. And they tackle controversial issues. The world do not stray away or shy away from those issues. We know that Cardi B did a music video as of recent. And social media have been discussing that and older people have been giving their views as well as younger people. We know that so many people have views as it relates to our president, who I believe is serving the people during a very hard and difficult time. So people not only have views as it relates to the music world, but they also have views as it relates to the political arena. There is views as it relates to the church. Many of the churches are on social media today. They're not in their buildings, which means that the church is evolving and pushing forward to meet the needs of the people. They're not just stuck in the building. They're not just behind the mark and model brick walls, but they are out there on the pavement meeting you where you are. People have opinions about COVID-19. Yes, they do. They have opinions whether they feel, you know, whether it was a chemical release, was it, what was the reason behind it, what led up to it. All of that is views that the world is dealing with. And we as a ministry, we as a people have to learn how to open up our mouths and voice our opinions. If you have an opinion, that is good because at least you have a voice. And when we say have a voice, that means you are asserting yourself on the culture. You're saying, I have a part in this. You're saying, I have a place in this. You're saying, I have a seat in this. And I have a ticket to vote. So that right there evokes self-confidence. It also means that you are self-aware of what is going on around you. You're not sitting back and letting people make decisions for you, but you are taking an active 
active role in the culture. You're taking an active role in the political arena. You're taking an active role as it relates to the church. You're taking an active role as it relates to the type of music that you want to hear and allow your families and your children to hear. You are taking an active role. So right there, you need to bless God. Right there, you need to be grateful that you are confident enough to stand up. I heard somebody say that if you don't stand for something, you will fall for anything. So the fact that you are taking a stand is a blessing. The fact that you are taking a stand is good. What we want to take a look at with the culture is this. Number one, our motives must be pure. Uh, your motives must be pure. And the reason why your motives must be pure, because if everybody is Cardi B, y'all ain't saying nothing. If everybody is one way, if everybody is, is having an, an underworld means of funding, then who's going to run the restaurants? <laughs> who's going to teach the students? Who's going to be the school teacher? If you ever got sick, who's going to be the medical doctor? If you have to get cavities taken out, who's going to be the dentist? If you ever have a court case, who's going to be the lawyer? If you ever need to purchase furniture, who's going to create that furniture? If you need to buy a house, who's going to be the real so as we're looking for shortcut ways to get ahead, a lot of times those shortcut ways is to feel like we're in a place of success. It is to feel like we're keeping up with the Joneses or we're keeping up with the Murphys or we're keeping up with other people. But if we have to sacrifice the, the, the quality and the value of our community to feel successful, then when we get in trouble, who's going to answer those difficult calls? Y'all are not saying nothing. If all of us is one way and if all of the churches are shut down, if we have a spiritual need, who's going to answer the prayer call? So if we're all in sin and we're all blind, the Bible says that the, if the blind lead the blind, then you're going to be led into a ditch. So if we're all one way, if you have a spiritual need, then who's going to answer that prayer call? Who's going to pray and fast and give you an answer and hear a word from God? Who's going to bring down heaven on your behalf to intervene in the areas of miracles? Somebody have to carry the torch. Somebody have to carry the weight. Somebody have to carry the load and not take the easy way out. Somebody still got to go to dentist school. Somebody still got to be the medical doctor. Somebody still got to have the restaurant and somebody still have to be the shoemaker, the furniture maker, the hospital runner. Somebody is still going to have to put in the work. We can't all do it the easy way and get ahead. So I heard the mothers that was upset at Cardi B because they know that as the world changes and as the world evolves, that type of lifestyle might last for a season. But can't everybody live that lifestyle because sometimes we do those type of things based on relationships that you are possibly in for a season. But if those relationships end, you might find yourself a single mother. You might find yourself an independent single woman. And if you are a single woman or an independent mother, you still need a legal means that a respectful means by which you can care for your family. So as we take a look at the culture, we want to make sure that we are balanced, my goodness, that we are balanced in what it is that we are voting for.